A 104-year-old nursing home resident gets herself arrested to fulfill a bucket list, finding and keeping qualified talent a top concern for administrators, and a medical director of nursing facility where 11 died sued by families over a viral outbreak. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Police slapped handcuffs on a 104-year-old nursing home resident last week, and she was ecstatic about it. The arrest was actually on the bucket list of Ann Brokenbrow, who is a resident of the Stokely Care Home located in a suburb of Bristol in the UK. She's lived by the law her whole life and only wanted a quick peek into society's darker side. She said, I'm 104 and I've always been on the right side of the law, so I want to know what it's like on the wrong side. Police handcuffed Broken Brow charged her with being an quote, upstanding citizen, and took her away in a police car with sirens blazing. She found the whole encounter exciting, according to the reports. The arrest was arranged by the UK charity Alive Activities as part of International Day of Happiness. Workforce development dominated the conversation during the American College of Healthcare Administrators annual meeting on Monday in Louisville, with many administrators pondering how to best find and keep qualified employees. Worker shortages are causing more providers to close units and halt new admissions, noted keynote speaker Susan Miziorski. Possible solutions included ways to find younger workers by creating a youth-friendly environment, the potential in recruiting men into the caregiving workforce as they currently make up only 14% of direct caregivers, and providing a person-centered welcome to newly hired individuals. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Six families of children who either died or were sickened in a viral outbreak at one New Jersey nursing facility are suing its medical director and staff. They're motivated by a recent government investigation, the results of which the center has called, quote, fundamentally inaccurate and sensational. The group earlier filed suit against the Winoke Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation in November after an outbreak of the adenovirus there killed 11 and sickened dozens more. They amended the complaint this week to also name the pediatric care facility's medical director and 15 licensed nurses and respiratory therapists. Attorneys are keying in on comments made by Miguel Gali, the medical director for Winoke, who told investigators, quote, I knew we had a problem after the fourth death. Family members claim they were not informed quickly enough about the outbreak, wasting precious time to transport children to the hospital. The center was issued a $600,000 immediate jeopardy citation, with federal inspectors claiming they found system failures that directly contributed to the spread of the virus. Gali allegedly failed to grasp the severity of the crisis and did not keep track of how many were infected. The center is now appealing those findings. In the meantime, it is still barred from admitting ventilator-dependent pediatric patients. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.